Hello again, YouTube. This is The Truth Man, giving you the truth. And I want to talk a little bit about demonology. I want to give you a entry-level uh, lesson on it. Uh, I'm pretty uh, learned when it comes to this thing. Like, Here's the thing. We're going to get into the basics. One of the main basics of demonology that you have to realize is that demons will use the people you respect, like, and love against you if you're not careful. See, this what you don't realize is that any demon spirit is the descendant of the Nephilim. And basically... When they were washed away in the flood and other uh, ways during their time on the earth, they were not uh, were not humans. They were not of our species. So their spirit still roams until the final judgment. Now here's the thing: they they're, they're going to come up with a technology. For these spirits that I'm talking about to be embodied in flesh. And that's how the devil herself will be able to be tormented along with uh, the people that she deceives this in the earth. So what's going to happen basically, and I'm going to give you a little bit of prophecy, is they're going to come up with technology that prolongs life, if you will. <clears throat> and their evidence is going to be the Antichrist being brought back to life. Other uh, beings that lived in the past being seen, being spotted, brought back to life. Um, and they're going to be like, hey, this, you know, this person that they tried to teach us about this guy that they tried to teach us about. We can't see him, but we can see this person, that person. And that's going to be the blasphemy that's going to be used to a certain extent. Maybe not word for word, but to a certain extent to get people to take what we call the mark of the beast. Now, that's what you need to understand about demonology is that these spirits are in the earth. And that these spirits are, they could go back and forth. They could go into the outer darkness. They could go into different parts of the earth. Now, remember, remember when during Job's day, when the most, wait, let me check my lip. The most high said, have you considered my servant Job? What was the devil doing? Going back and forth, looking for somebody to bother. See, the devil was loose, was going back and forth. So the devil is really uh, the queen over the demons. And, and they basically, they uh, are submitted and submissive to her. So they do her bidding. And a lot of stuff, they, you know, they had to get permission from the Most High. That's why it's important to be connected to the Most High. Now, demons... You be wondering like why this happened to this person but not that person. You got to be careful with everything, including like the birth of children. You know, that like I give you an example. I'm so astute with this demonology stuff that I tried to work a part-time job on the side, and I knew that they got into the manager. Because see here, this is what he was doing. And sometimes a demon, if you leave yourself open, a demon can use you. Uh, Y'all think every demonic possession is the exorcist. It's not. A demon can use you against somebody else. Like, my son is having problems on his job. Like, I'm telling you. The devil comes still kill and destroy. They've been stealing his lunch, all type of stuff. So what he was doing was I was there to deliver, just deliver pizza delivery driver. 
when he wasn't there, I was making all kind of money. When he came back, he kept turning the deliveries off. And it's almost like I was thinking like, man, I'm just back here washing dishes. What's the point? I might as well just stick to my, you know, my business stuff. I was just trying to do that in the hours that are normally slow and and make some extra money. And he just kept like turning the deliveries off. Like it wasn't even busy. He'll turn them off or and wasn't nothing in the red. He'll turn them off. So I'm like, I quit. Like, what's the point of being here? If I want to wash dishes, I can go somewhere and wash dishes. You know, that was just supposed to be me getting those tips, getting those deliveries. Uh, and so I said, yeah, the devil trying to use him. Uh, I know when the devil is at work or when demons are at work. Like, it, like you, you wonder sometimes, like, why you always have problems with this person or that person? Because if they not sealed with the life giving spirit of God, then they basically where the spirit is supposed to be. It's just like an opening. And if their name is not in the book of life, like demons can fill that opening unless the most high say otherwise. That's also why it's important to pray for people. And to know how to pray. Because if you pray and using names that demons done invented. Then your prayers basically could possibly come to nothing. So you got to be careful with that. Now, I'm trying to keep it basic for you to understand. Playing with Ouija boards, uh, tarot cards, all that stuff. You inviting spirits to make petition as it's called over your life and over your 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 business and when you try to put stuff on people that are sealed with the spirit of the god that stuff will come back to you or somebody the person you love the most so you got to be careful you got to control your emotion you get mad at a believer they're not gonna stop being a believer because you want them to stop and you try to do some stuff like that. A lot of people don't realize that they could have been playing with witchcraft 30 years ago. And demons still make petition over their relatives to this day. So just leave that stuff alone. Use faith as a power and as a tool and connect yourself to the most high, you know. If you want to go the Christianity route, I mean, that's fine. But you better know what you're doing when you go the route of these religions instead of just going straight there, if you know what I mean. I could teach you how to go straight there. So these are some of the things you need to understand. Let's let's backtrack. One. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me uh let me do something real quick. Let me do something real quick. Uh, give me a second. One, do not try to cast any spells. You're not Solomon. You're not, if you do, you, you better be real careful because that stuff can come on your future generations if you try to do it to the wrong person. And that's what's going on with a lot of us. What Tariq calls foundational black Americans is the spells that they were trying to cast. Some of them came back on their own self and on their own future generation because they should have just believed on the most high like, and kept it basic, kept it plain. Plain basic faith like Adam had, like Abel had. You got to get back to that. Uh, so don't do that. N next, use your faith as a power. View yourself as a super, uh, uh, a superhero. And, and and this is what I mean by that. Once you connect to the Most High, which is the most important, 
you got to view, you got to learn how to view yourself as a superhero, that your mind and your heart is your power. That's your superpower. And so you can move mountains with your faith and you can destroy evil spirits with your faith as well. Remember what they said, have not we cast out spirit? They wasn't even with, they weren't even saved, but they still was able to cast out spirits because they knew how to do it. You go to get saved first. Get saved first, whether it's directly asking the Most High to write your name in the book of life uh, with a sincere heart, with a willingness to turn away from your wicked ways, with a willingness to obey the Ten Commandments. You know, and once you do, view yourself as a superhero. View your, uh, your faith in your mind and your heart as a superpower. And learn how to pray against stuff. You got to learn how to pray against stuff. You got to learn how to pray against demons. You got to learn how to ask the most high stuff like, uh, please don't allow any evil spirits to intervene in my my life or in this or in that. Or you say things like, like what I pray, I pray against the negative faith of others. Because see, people will be using their faith against you. Like lack of confidence in your talents, your ability. And if you don't have faith in yourself, you better be real careful. And especially if you are in cahoots with these people, this is why the Bible says to do not be unequally yoked believers with unbelievers. That's dealing with spirituality. That's dealing with what I'm talking about, demonology. Because demons will uh, make petitions on you because of who you deal with. It's not to say that you say, well, well, this person. That. No, you can deal with anyone. Just don't, if they're not connected to the most high, uh, guard your dealings with them. Yeah, including these Christians who are basically sorcerers because they praying all type of stuff and they don't even know what they're doing. They... That, and you ever notice how when they try to talk in tongues, it actually sounds like uh, voodoo and witchcraft. So you got to be careful with them people in your church, too. You got to learn about this. I'm going to close this video out because I just wanted to keep it basic anyway. But this is the truth, man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Watch the videos in this entirety. Leave a comment and I'll see you on the next one.